Have you ever wondered how to have good FPS in your Minecraft game? Today I'm going to be telling you how to do that in this video. So, the first tip I have is download OptiFine. If you haven't heard about OptiFine, it's really good with having gr graphics and you can add shaders and do other things. It really helps with your FPS and makes your game run a lot smoother. So, let me go to my settings, go to options, and go to video settings. And I'm going to be showing you all the best settings to use. So always put your graphics on fast. I think no matter what you have. So my graphics are on fast. Smooth lighting is minimum. I have a very short paced um, smooth lighting level. It's on 19%. GUI scale, normal. You can change it. Um, I usually keep mine on normal though. Brightness, 22%. You can have it to whatever, but I, I keep mine kind of low. Dynamic lights off. Um, my render distance is for short because my computer runs pretty good at that. Anywhere from, I would say, 2 to 6, I think, is pretty good for me. Um, my max frame rate is unlimited because if you keep it low, it's going to be very hard to get past that. And that's not the best option. So, you see, I mean, I don't know how that thing works for me. I'm at 146 right now. And the more I look up somehow, I lose more FPS. But in some of the other game versions, it's like I actually gain more FPS. I don't know why. So I just keep mines on unlimited. Keep view bobbing on. Advanced OpenGL off. Chunk loading default. Dynamic FOV off. Um, shaders. I have all these shaders right here. I would definitely try and make a list put a list in the description so you can see all the shaders I have. Not all of them work. That's why I don't use them all. Details, clouds off, trees fast, water default, sky is off, sun and moon is off, fog is off, depth fog is off, translucent blocks fast, big net fast, cloud height off, no cloud height, grass default, Rain and snow off, stars off, show capes off, fog star. I put it at 0 0.8. I used to have it at 0 0.4, but I just switched it around. It's 0 0.8. Held item tulips off, dropped items fast. Then we have animations. I click all of my animations off. As you can see, all of them are off because I don't really need them. Quality map levels for anastrophic filtering off. Mip map type nearest and a listing, I think, off, clear water off, better grass off. Most of this, all of this right here is just off. Everything in quality settings off. Okay, performance, smooth FPS on, load farm off, chunk updates one, fast math on, fast render off because I have my shaders, smooth world on, preloaded chunks off, dynamic updates off, and lazy chunk loading is off too. So many off. Other, we have lagometer off, shove PS off because I don't want to see it, weather definitely off, full screen. I don't want full screen. Even though it does kind of make the FPS go even faster, I just don't like recording in full screen. 3D anal anaglaf anagraph uh, anaglaf I think off debug profiler off auto save every three minutes. I have my time on day only right now, but I don't usually. I just have it on uh, default and full screen mode default as well. Um. So yeah, that's that's. I think I went all through every one of these categories and then actually I have these super secret settings that I don't think shows up in in the thing without Optifine so I can just change the settings and make it like really super secret and some extra settings to make it look different so let's go through some resource packs so here's some of my resource packs Marashunu, Shino, don't use that, Sky Blue's good um, C and C Blue FPS. All of these are really good. Intel's Champion Add-on Pack. Um, more CNC, but it's red FPS. It's a red FPS zip pack. Better Vanilla, Cute Craft. That's just to, that's the one I'm using now. I just love that one. Equanimity and Quanimity, I think. Yeah, that one's okay. Good vibes, pretty good. These packs are good. Realistic Sky, never really used it. Just wanted to get it. Sandy Dreams, really good. Sweet and Candy, I like that one too. And Tiny Dark 
blue FPS. That's a really good pack for FPS. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for it to load back because it, it always lags kind of. Okay, so we finally loaded back. And my music and sounds, I think this helps. I have my master volume on 7. Everything is really low. 7 for a jukebox and note box. Blocks 11. Friendly creatures 9. 9% on the ambient environment. Music is 9%. Weather is off. Hostile creatures off. And players off. I just, I, I don't really have anything very high. So, or anything really, um on anything so i think that really helps so let's see right now i'm at one one certain positions i'm close to 200 so yeah about 190 here and it gets a little lower just depending look up go less look down gain more so yeah i think i think this definitely helped and I'm still trying to learn more and uh, get better with these things. I, in my old computer, I know I, I could not use shaders at all. It, it would have been trash. It would have just been terrible. And I'm just so glad this computer is actually cooperating with me a little bit on things. So I hope this video helped. And I just wanted to be helpful to you guys because I understand like if you're trying to make a YouTube channel, you definitely need to have good FPS or, or Minecraft YouTube channel or something when you're playing on Java. It's definitely good to make sure you have good software and uh, you're getting everything straight. So if you don't have Optifine, I definitely would say you need to get Optifine if you want to have even better FPS. So I hope this video helped you guys. Goodbye.